best and worst styles if you have thicker thighs. Hi, my name is Chi. If my thighs look exaggerated, that's because they are. For this video, I am sticking towels on my thighs just so you can see the visual result better. Now let's get right into it. Long jackets. I know, I know, you're probably confused. Chi, I'm wearing long jackets because I want to cover up my thighs. The problem is, wherever your jacket ends, it is going to draw attention to that area. So if you go with hapless jackets, these are going to bring all the focus to your hips and your thighs. Watch what happens when I switch to a shorter jacket. The focal point of the entire outfit is moving upwards and the eye is now focused on the top half instead of the bottom. This now looks much more in balance with your shape. And this applies to not just jackets, but any tops you wear. If they are long and they end right on your hips, a lot of women with wider thighs, they also have wider hips. And this is going to draw all the attention to this area. You might be thinking, Chi, what if I go even longer than that? Yes, you can, but it causes another problem, and that is they're guaranteed to make your legs look even shorter. If you're petite, make sure you check out my clothing line at petitedressing.com for women under 5'4". Ever since I discovered like PetiteDressing.com, my style went from this to this. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench, on the bench, spinning all the back, like here I go again. Five cup, anything. You may not be familiar with the term, but you have seen them. Slip dresses, slip skirts. These are super popular everywhere this season, and a lot of them are cut on the bias. What that means is they're cut across. So the fabrics are made to cling to your bottom half. These are great for those who want to emphasize every inch of your curves, but if you have bigger thighs, this is like putting a magnifier on your thighs. Skinny leg. All right, my darling, you probably should be popping champagnes that the skinny everything trend is over. Because anything with skinny legs, skinny jeans, skinny pants, leggings, any of this, they're designed to be clinging to your legs from top to bottom. If you have bigger thighs, these are going to draw all the attention to your thighs. Denim shorts. Everybody loves denim shorts in the summer, but if your thighs are thicker, they may not be your best friend. If your shorts are short, they might end on the widest part of your thighs and therefore can make you feel self-conscious. If they're long, like the very popular Bermuda lens for this season, they might actually feel a little restrictive on someone with bigger thighs because denim is mostly made of cotton, so there's very limited stretchiness. Pencil skirts. Yes, this can be sexy, but they can also make big thighs look even bigger. Because pencil skirts fit your body so tight, they're going to draw all the attention to your bottom half. Especially those pencil skirts lighter colors. For example, white pencil skirts. These can be nightmares if your goal is to de-emphasize your thighs. Because these are expensive and they're completely clinging to your thighs, making everybody notice what you probably don't want them to pay attention to. All right, my darling, now let's look at the best styles if you have thicker thighs. Wide leg anything. The difference of wide leg shape versus any other leg shape is that wide legs, they do not cling. They skim your body. And that is why they're the heaven sent for women with bigger thighs. And it doesn't matter if it's wide leg jeans, wide leg pants, or wide leg jumpsuits. Anything with a wide leg shape, they're going to be able to balance out your wider thighs. No matter how many towels I stick under my thighs, you are not going to be able to tell under the wide leg pants. But not all the wide leg shape is created equal. The key is to pay attention to the fabrics. You want to make sure your wide leg pants or jeans are not too stiff. They're too stiff, they're going to be sticking out, and that's going to make your bottom half look even bigger than it actually is. If they're too flimsy, on the other hand, that's not good either because you're not going to get the drapery effect that you need. So you need to find the fabrics that carries enough weight in order to drape down. A-line dresses. These are also called fit on flare dresses sometimes, depending on how big the flare is. The reason they're the most flattering silhouettes for women with bigger thighs is because 
the skirt themselves comes with volume, and therefore the eye wouldn't be able to tell, and it would not be focused on your thighs. This should be your go-to silhouette when it comes to the dresses. Flare legs, flare jeans, flare pants, these are back on trend again, and this is great news for those of us with wider thighs. The reason is because Flare legs have a wider bottom, and that is a perfect way to balance out your wider hips and your wider thighs. A-line skirts, the same concept. When it comes to skirts, ditch the pencil skirt and go with the A-line skirts. Just like the A-line dresses, these skirts, they do not clean and they skim your body. And that is why they're more accommodating and much more flattering on someone with bigger thighs. Pop tops. I know this may sound surprising to you, but if you know how to make it work, they can be one of the most flattering options for women with bigger thighs. If you have thicker thighs, it's very tempting to go with longer tops because you think that is disguising your thighs. But when you wear crop tops, because they're further away from your thighs and your buttocks, they're actually drawing attention away from that area. But you gotta know how to pair it with the right bottom. The best way to wear crop top is to pair it with A-line skirts. This combination is the most accommodating and also flattering for women with thicker thighs. Shorts. Yes, the A-line silhouette applies to not just dresses and skirts, they also apply to your shorts. And these are some of the most flattering shorts if you have wider thighs. Because wide leg opening for these shorts, these create a space around your thighs and that de-emphasize your thighs. On top of that, A-line shorts are just way more comfortable because how spacious they are around your thicker thighs. All right, my darling, if your thighs are wider, chances are you may have a pear-shaped body. If your top half is narrow compared with your bottom half, the typical pear-shaped body have a narrow shoulders, a smaller chest, and smaller waist. But that is not always the case. For example, Serena Williams, she does have thicker thighs as well, but she also has broad shoulders and full breasts. So she does carry weight on her top half as well. If you are like that, if you have body features from different body shapes, chances are you may have a mixed body shape. Actually, that's really common, and I think most of us feel that way. So watch this video, how to tell if you have a mixed body shape.